Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate every other angle in the figure using the properties of a kite. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. In the figure, we have a kite ABCD. Applying the first properties of a kite, we know that the two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So AB is equal to BC and likewise AD is equal to CD. Also, the diagonals of the kite are perpendicular to each other. So line BD and line AC are perpendicular. Thus, the angle at E is a 90 degree. So if it's, this is 90, this is also 90, this is 90, and this is also 90 degrees. I'm going to label all the angles shown. So this is angle A1, this is angle A2, this is angle D1, this is D2, this is angle C1, C2, angle B1, and angle B2. One of the properties of a kite states that the longer diagonal bisects the angle. So therefore, I know that the angle D1 must be equal to the angle D2. Likewise, the angle B1 must be equal to angle B2. So stating that, I have B1 angle equals to B2 and also D1 equals to D2. We know that D B1 is 35 degrees, so B2 will also be 35 degrees. Also, D1, we are looking for D1. D2 is 25 degrees, as shown in the diagram. Therefore, angle D1 is 25 degrees. I'm going to put that in the diagram. In addition, the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180, so therefore, triangle ABE, ABE, triangle ABE, the sum of angles in triangle ABE is equal to 180. That's a property of a triangle. So therefore, we have 35 degrees plus we have the 90 plus A1, which is unknown, must be equal to 180 degrees. That's angles in a triangle. 90 plus 35 will give us 125 degrees plus A1 equals to 180. And using the balance method, angle A1 is equal to 180 minus 125. And that will be 55 degrees. So therefore, angle A1 is 55 degrees. Triangle ABC, that's an isosceles triangle because we have the two sides AB and AC being equal. Properties of an isosceles triangle, the base angles are the same. So A1, I'm going to change that quickly. Angle A1 is equal to angle C1. And the reason is isosceles triangle. So therefore... We know that A1 is 55, so therefore C1 is also 55 degrees. I'm going to put that in the diagram, 55 degrees. To find angle A2, sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So triangle, the sum of angle in triangle AED, AED equals 180. We are looking for A2. We don't know what A2 is. Plus the angle at E is 90 degrees. Plus D1, which is 25 degrees, equals to 180 degrees. Simplifying using the balance method, I have A2 angle plus 115 equals 180 degrees. Therefore, I'm going to put that here. Therefore, angle A2 
equals 180 degrees minus 115 that will give us 65 degrees putting that in I have 65 degrees another property of a kite is that the opposite angle the angle at A is equal to the angle at C and because we know A1 to be 55 C1 is 55 a2 is 65, so therefore, A2 is equal to C2, which is 65 degrees. So therefore, C2 is 65 degrees. Thanks for watching. Bye.